How did you see yourself through school? Because I need to know the real story, where you started. Um, I, I would just tell you in a very simple term. Right. I don't know if the audience across the world will understand what hustle means. Hustle, yeah. <laughs> you work hard, hard work. Hustle, like, like push through everything. Break the walls, not just open doors, break the walls. Just Think wait. outside the box. I did everything legally possible to earn money to pay my bills through school. Right. Not only my bills, I had to put my brothers into school. I had to take care of my mom because my dad had died. And my mom, being a white woman here, she, was, she couldn't get her feet yeah. right. So it was very difficult Definitely. because uh, it was one of the toughest moments of my life. But um, I'm a very positive-minded person. And whatever challenges I encounter, yeah. I just look at them as learning experience. And I say, yeah. okay, you know what? This is here to, to challenge me, but it's not here to break me. Yeah. And if I can just get through this, I read a lot of motivational uh, scripts and books, and that helped me to go through one day at a time. At time yeah. um, I remember one of, <laughs> one of the craziest moments when I was like 21 years old. I already had a son. Aww. I was divorced at 21. Wow. Sometimes when I go back, I was like, what sort what? of mind did I have? Like, I need to sit down how, one day and write you, a letter to myself. <laughs> like, <laughs> how did you get married at 21? I, well, oh, I got married at age of 19, actually. Oh my God. Yes, yeah, so, but, you were asking me how I put myself through yeah, school. So let's focus on that. <laughs> <laughs> so one of these moments I had, and that you just tell you the kind of spirit and yeah. drive and force that I had within me, which somehow doesn't really show in my calm with the, face. With a beautiful with the, smile. With the, yeah. here, thanks, thanks, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so here it is. I was in school at the University of Abuja, um, and it was this moments when I sat. I was like, you know what? I just needed to. I needed some money to, to just pay some immediate bills. And I knew that that moment it wasn't like 500 Naira or 1,000 Naira. I needed like some real good money because we had just had a lot going on and the house rent back at home. And so I, I took my dad's diary, which I always made reference to, and I looked, I was like, who again, is, who, which name can I identify here? Yeah. So I saw this name, um, Shola Komodi. Right. Then Mr. Shola Komodi was the chief of staff to Atiku. Yeah. <clears throat> I was like, ah. Villa. What would take me there? How would I? So the first thing I, I, I dressed up in my mind, I thought that was my but best your dad, outfit. Your dad, he was late already. Right. He was late. My dad died 20 years ago, 21 years, going to be in November. Were, yeah. Just 20 years ago, yeah, he died. Let's not say how you, old you were then. Yeah, I was uh, 18, nine, I 18, think. 19. 18, I was 19, 19 from your biography. Yeah. Yeah. 18, yeah. Mm. So I went, I found my way to the villa, entered the cab. I was turned down at the gate. I was like, who do you want to see? I want to see the chief of staff. <laughs> so the vice president. And they were like, what are you talking about? They looked at me at first. I'm, I, I tell you, in my mind, I was really dressed nice. You know those moments? Yeah, but when like, I look back, I was like, best. oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> and then he allowed, for some reason, they said, okay, someone should accompany me in. And I went in, I went in. So tell me how I got to his office. I don't mind, I started sweating. Like the AC was blamed, but I was so hot. I was like, this man would just send me the out. Like this. I was like, <laughs> So, but I had to put this composure. Yeah. And then um, they then the door opened. I was like, okay, you can go in. I saw him, big table. They did allow you Yes, that? I persisted. Like, I'm just trying to tell you from that episode, mm -hmm. you, from that experience, you can definitely imagine yeah. so many things I had to go through. <laughs>